Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. Today I wanted to come out and share with you a couple dreams I was given uh, early this morning and they are so encouraging and they offer so much hope, Body of Christ, as we are waiting and watching for our blessed hope. Uh, the Lord, I believe, is just giving more and more confirmation that we are so close to that time, church, when Jesus is coming to take his bride. So in the dream I was given, okay, well, first, I woke up probably about 2.30 in the morning, which I do that a lot, and uh, I just lay there, and I pray, and I spend time with the Lord. So I was uh, just praying and, and just spending time with the Lord until probably 4.30 in the morning. I fell back to sleep, and when I fell asleep, uh, I had this dream. I was in my childhood home with my sister, Mary Beth, who passed away back in 2022, and our home looked different. It was just really bright and it was just really beautiful and it felt so safe. And as we were sitting in the living room, all of a sudden I looked up at the ceiling that, that was over the dining area and it was like this portal or something opened up. It looked like a whirlpool that you would see in the ocean and it was just spinning and it was bright, beautiful blues. And it could have been the sky, but it reminded me of water and it just kept spinning. And I got this feeling and I told Mary, I said, it's, it's almost like we're in a submarine. I felt like we were totally surrounded by water, that we were just safe and protected in our father's home. All right. And Mary said something like, well, I don't know if I want to be in a submarine. And I said, oh, that's exactly where we want to be. All right. Submerged in the spirit. Water is symbolic of the Holy Spirit, of the word of God. So this is where we want to be submerged, going deeper with the Lord. Anyway, uh, as I was looking at the ceiling uh, where that portal had opened up, all of a sudden it was just like I, it was like a magnet, and I was just pulled up to the ceiling. And I was right up where that portal had opened, and I just closed my eyes, and I was just waiting to go through the ceiling, and I knew that was the next step. I was just waiting, and then I woke up. And so I wrote the dream down. And as I was contemplating the meaning of the dream, I felt Holy Spirit bring my attention to the fact that the portal opened in the dining area, okay? This is where we would gather for meals as a family. And I felt that was significant in that the Lord was showing me that uh, this place we're going is going to be like a family gathering, like a, like a dinner table gathering, the, the marriage supper of the Lamb. And, and also my attention was drawn to the fact that my sister Mary and I were in the living room, okay? Now, a lot of times when people cross over to the other side, we see them as dead, but for a believer in Christ, they're not. They are, they are just transitioning into their eternal glory. And so she is alive, and I'm, I'm alive here. She's alive in heaven. And so uh, the Lord was just showing me, I believe that we are both alive spiritually and that we are so close, church, to that time when we're about to transition upward, when we're being called upward, just like the Lord uh, in, I believe it's Revelation chapter four, verse one, called John the apostle. He said, come up here. And I believe that's exactly what that was showing us. We're just about to come up. All right, now, the next thing, I, I woke up about 5.30 after that dream, and then I fell back to sleep, and I had another dream. And again, I was in my, my father's home, my childhood home, with my sister Mary. And this time I said, I was asking Mary about heaven. I said, Mary, what, what is heaven like? All she said was, a bright light came upon me. A bright light came upon me. And I was just thinking about that and wondering about that. And it was like, she kind of started to fade away, but then all of a sudden it was like, I went into another part of the dream and she was there again in, in perfect clarity. And then I had it in my mind and my heart to ask her about the rapture. I thought maybe she has some insights on this. And so I was, I was saying something to the effect of Mary. I, I don't know if it's going to happen this year. There's talk about the rapture happening, happening this year. I said, do you know when the rapture is going to happen? And her response was, right now. And I said, right now? And then we started talking about how that what that meant. And when I woke up from that dream, my sense about when Mary said, right now, 
is that that's heaven's perspective as far as the closeness of the rapture happening, the pre-tribulation rapture, that it is like happening right now. Now, it might be a week, a month, a year. I mean, we don't know. But in heaven's perspective, that's how close we are. It's right now. Right now. Anyway, I just wanted to share those dreams with you to encourage you that our Heavenly Father wants us to keep holding on to the blessed hope, to keep looking up, keep trusting that at the right time, Jesus is going to come and get his church. It is going to happen. It is biblical. It is bedrocked in scripture, and it's going to happen. So I hope and I pray that this encourages you, church, and that you will just continue looking to the Lord. Ask him for confirmation. Go to him and ask him for confirmation uh, about these things. Never take anybody's word for anything. You go to the you go to the Father in prayer, and you go to the Word of God, and uh, and and I just hope and pray that you'll do that, and that you will receive confirmation that church we are we are leaving soon, very soon. As always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.